Subway sandwich artists are the first people customers see when they walk through the door. But there's a lot more to a great sandwich artist than making great sandwiches. It's not easy. Being a sandwich artist is not an easy job. However, there's a certain feeling you get when you're interacting with a customer and they look at that sandwich and they say, wow, thank you, this is great. And it may be surprising to learn that the career paths sandwich artists often carve out at Subway can go far beyond the average hourly wage job. I was a college student at the University of North Carolina in Chapel Hill in 1985, uh, and um, my family came across some financial hardship, and I had to get a job. I started in as what we now call a sandwich artist, doing a closing shift from the ground all the way up. I first started working there, gonna work there just a year, just for a little while, Christmas season, you know, get some Christmas presents, and then I started working there, waiting on customers, and start meeting other people. I first started making sub sandwiches in early high school years. From then, I just tried my best working at Subway, made sandwiches the best I could, followed formula as best I could. I started in a store, actually it was the second store in the state of California, uh, working as a, uh, a crew employee in the store. And I worked there up and through high school until the time I went to college. You have to be able to multitask, that's a big thing. You have to be able to do dishes and bake bread and make the sandwiches and clean the dining room and run the register all at the same time. My store is actually located in Orlando, Florida. I'm inside the Orlando Science Center, so it's a non-traditional store. Efren Lazada started out as a sandwich artist at the age of 19, but quickly moved into management. Being a foster kid, I could have been in a different kind of situation. Um, someone gave me a chance, they took me in. Subway gave me another chance. They made me a manager at 19 years old, and I want to continue to give that back to somebody else. Part of his responsibilities involve training new sandwich artists. I tell everybody they gotta remember three things, and that's speed, initiative, customer service. When we get a new employee in for training, we take it step by step with them. We start them out on bread, and we stay on that. If we stay a month doing that, we'll do it for a month, and we just teach them step by step. It's hard to train people. It's not always fun. You have to be the bad guy a lot of the time, but then you know you get to step in there and be like, hey, you did a really good job there. You know, you get to be the good guy. Training never stops at Subway and sandwich artists have access to on-site as well as online training through University of Subway. We require each one of our new hires to take 16 courses online. When they come into our establishment, they have already passed 80% of the training because everything is, is shown to them via online. They take classes, then they have to take a test. So when they walk into our stores, they're ready to go. Understanding the Subway system is important, but what really makes a great sandwich artist? We really look for those energetic ones that present themselves with an energetic attitude. You get involved in your store, you get involved with your customers, you just get involved in the day-to-day -day things. I have some people that came in with their children, they were babies. Now they're coming in as full of grown adults. When they start coming back, they don't know anything else but Miss Sherry, the subway lady. They come by, visit. We hope that turns into a positive experience for customers and motivates other employees to do well too. There are people that were sandwich artists that are now high up in the corporation. There are people that were sandwich artists that are very successful franchisees. There are people that were sandwich artists that are development agents. Actually, our very first sandwich artist happens to be the president and CEO. 